Hey everyone, welcome to another $1,000 strap search. I've got my $1,000 in singles here and I'm about to show you what I found. But before I do, let's talk about this week's tip. Now I get a lot of questions about potential errors uh, in my email box and uh, people show me pictures, people will insist that it's an error. And one of the ones I get very frequently has to do with uh, stamps that are on notes. And literally, that's all they are. Somebody stamped something on the note. A la, I don't want to say necessarily, where's George? But anything can be on a stamp. And anyone with a stamp can stamp that on a note. So how do you know if it was on the note prior to the printing? Because people will insist, oh no, this is under the inking of the note. It was on there before the printing process. Well, no, that's not the case. Um, take a look at this note. I'm going to turn it this way so you can actually see what's there. This note has some type of dot matrix printing on it. And uh, some people will swear up and down that something like this had to be on there beforehand because if you look really close... If you look really close, it doesn't seem to have any ink over the L. So it must be underneath the L. Or on the T in Washington. Those dots don't cover the T in Washington. They're clearly under there. So this had to be on the paper before the printing process, right? No. Actually, if you read this whole thing, you have a, you have a, a teller number, you have a date, and then it says check number. Um, a lot of banks have a process where they actually take the check, which is the same size as a dollar, and they put it through this little scanning device, and you'll see it whip around in a little half circle and come out the other side. Well, if somebody had a deposit slip, and there was a dollar bill on the back, and they ran that through, instead of this being printed on the deposit slip, it would get printed on this bill, and that's exactly what happened here. But... How is it that so many times when you get notes that have stamps on it, it looks like the stamp is underneath? Well, that has to do with the actual stamp itself. Here's my Where's George stamp, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down here, and you can see how the stamp is actually every single letter, and the only thing that gets inked is the stamp itself. And then obviously this gets pressed onto the paper. Now, that seems like such a very basic thought. Why is that such a big deal? Well, because that's not how notes are printed. The way a note is printed is they have a metal plate, and the metal plate has stuff carved into the plate. Okay? So there is a, a, a divot, there is a line, there is a scratch. And the entire plate, think of the entire plate as being all scratched up. Then they put ink on that plate... And then they wipe off all the ink. So now the only place that there are ink is in those little grooves. That's the only place that has ink. So then when it comes time to actually print the note, a lot of pressure is used to force the note into those little grooves to accept the ink. That's why on all of our notes, you're going to feel the actual texture of the ink on there. Because it's not a stamp on the paper, it's the paper being forced into the grooves. Uh, that's intaglio printing. That's the difference. Now, how does that affect a stamp? Well, if these edges are raised and the stamp goes on the paper on top of this particular printing process, First of all, you don't know what kind of ink is actually in these stamps, so the ink that's in here may simply not bond to the actual ink that's on the bill. But secondly, when you stamp a note, the stamp is going on the paper itself, okay? And since this is raised and this goes on the paper, it gives the illusion that the stamp would be under that particular thing. Um, I wonder... I wonder if we can, what if I was to stamp this note right here, just to see what happens. If we look at this real close, the black shines through, okay? It looks like this stamp has been on there prior 
<laughs> to the seal going on there because you just cannot pick it up. I can't zoom it in any further without it going out of focus, but that's what people will claim. They'll see a stamp on the note and they will say, oh no, that was the stamp was on there before it was printed. Uh, no, it wasn't. The, the illusion comes from the printing process, the intaglio printing process. That's why you always get that particular uh, that particular type of oh, uh, illusion, I guess you could say. All right, so that's this week's tip. Let's move that aside, and let's take a look at what I found this week. This week, found a Where's George. Uh, once again, this is stamped a couple times, so you can see it's clearly over the top. I will log this one and see where it's been. I've got a birthday note here, the 25th of December 2016. That's Christmas 2016. Uh, found another boner note, B, 1, and R. Apparently that is a website. I have not checked it out. And then somebody put a note on their note. Uh, thanks for an amazing wedding. Love, Sarah and Alex. So and there's the date, October 5th, 2022. Uh, found some trinaries, zeros, fours, and nines. Zeros, ones, and sevens. Fours, fives, and nines. Quads, quad ones. Quad fours, quad fives, quad sevens, and some stars. 2017A, not filled in. 2017, not filled in. Another 2017. Oh, there we go. Another one. A little bit of an overprint there. Um, so what? <laughs> Doesn't increase the value. Uh, what else we got here? Another 2017. Another 2017, look, this has got the wedding transfer. Ooh, no, it doesn't increase the value. 2017, 20, 2013 star. And, oh, this one has dirt here, so must be worth extra money, right? It's funny, because that actually looks a little bit green, but let's look at the other side. I'm not seeing it. Don't think that's an error. But it's interesting, and because it's interesting, I'm going to set it aside. Uh, let's see, 2003, this starts the older notes, 2003A. Another 2003A, and another, kind of rough shape, and another, remember 2003, these are at least 20 years old now, that's why I've got these saved. 2003, 2003A, here's a regular 2003 little bit better shape on this one. This will be a keeper. 2001 in decent shape. This one has, it looks like a circle here. That would be this circle if the note was folded in half, as you can see, and if the note was wet, and if something went across it like this dark line here indicates, it would be very easy for some of that to transfer like that. Not an error. So I don't want to, I don't want to have to answer everybody on that one. No, it's not an error. Another 2001 here, 1999, 1999, rough shape on that one, 1999, and the oldest note I found, 1995. All right, so what did I pull out this week? This week, I brought out, this is a third series 25 cent fractional, a United States fractional currency, uh, 25 cents, 25 cents. Checking the back of this one, it does have the 25 cent overprint on there and the green background. They use green on some, they use red on others. Uh, this one features William Fennison, if I remember correctly. Uh, he was the actual Secretary of the Treasury. Um, Spinner was the treasurer, <laughs> and that's Spinner's signature there for treasurer, but uh, Fennison was the Secretary of the Treasury. Spinner, not only was he alive when he was put on the note, so was Fennison. Both of these guys were both on there, and uh, Fennison is, seems to be the one who got away with it completely. Um, there were a total of three people in this series who were still alive when the notes were printed. Everybody knows about the Spinner note, mainly because of his signature, um, being so flamboyant, and there was one other person that actually took a lot of heat. But nobody ever complained that uh, Fessenden was was pictured on the notes. Well, let's take a quick look at the book, see what the book has to say about him. Here we go. Bust of William P. Fessenden. That's what it is. Secretary of the Treasury under President Lincoln. So, yeah, he was still alive when this note was printed. 
and you can see here there's a red reverse, red reverse with small green, um, then there's the green reverse, and then we can go on this side, Ooh, I don't even know if I can get it all in here, but you can see all the other different factions of the note right here on top. So yeah, a lot of different ones, a lot of different vari variables on this one. And for a price, we're talking, let's see, the green reverse looks plain. That's most likely going to be this one over here, $12.94. In VG8 starts off at $30. In 12 it's $40. VF20 is $50. And this one, this one's probably a solid $20. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's in it's in decent shape. You can make out everything. It's a little dirty. It's not really that creased up or anything. It's been circulated, but yeah, I'd say that's an easy 20 on that particular one. So that's what I've got for you guys this week. 25 cent fractional featuring William Fessenden, uh, the Secretary of the Treasury under Abraham Lincoln. If you learned anything new this week, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. I love reading all your comments. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.